So I thought I would start the little IPA lesson thing with the as. Now this is um uh these two are the main two that you're gonna pay attention to, and then these are sort of bonus sort of dialect things. Uh I'm sure you guys are gonna have a better understanding of it than me if you're doing linguistics. But at least right now, the main two are these, the cat, you know, and uh, sorry if my symbol is a little funny, it's the A that turns into an E. Like um Aeon Flux. Uh, so that's cat, pan, sham, you know, uh, can't, things like that. Uh, this is ah, so awesome. Um, Oliver, that would be that. And it's not supposed to be any particular symbol. It's just supposed to be like a, like an A, you know, like an A like that. And then I, mine looks like a, more like a symbol. Now... Ah uh, can be a long vowel, uh, as always short, cat, can't, fat, uh, awesome can be awesome, 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 you know, like, uh, if it has length to it, then you put a little colon next to it, at least that's what I remember. Now, these two sounds are sort of curious because they show up in other dialects, but not really in American English very much, you get the ask sound um i never really got that down but if you uh if you look up this symbol there are some really great tutorials on on how to how to deal with that it happens a lot say in like uh in like mid-atlantic uh dialect you know speaking like audrey hepburn um yeah it uh it's like a it's mixing british english and american english in some way, you know, uh, and then the honest sound, so honest is not really awesome, there, it should theoretically be a little bit higher in the palate, uh, so of course this is the other thing, is, um, a lot of times when you're, when you're doing vowels, they talk about what your alveolar palate is, and that's the soft palate, uh, sort of, you have a hard palate, there where you sort of burn your mouth whenever you have pizza that's too hot and then behind that there's a soft palate and that can lift and lower and actually uh, the way that I recently heard it said is if you flare your nostrils you can feel your alveolar palate lift but you have to really pay attention to, to what that's doing so uh, it's the difference between like awesome, not really doing anything in particular with your alveolar palate or your soft palate, uh, and, uh, honest, honest, uh, you're, you're trying to, like, lift that palate a little extra, so it's a very, very slight different, it's, it's almost like a, like a difference in your sensation as the speaker, rather than the sensa the, the listening experience, um, so those are the four A's. Um, and what we would do in, in Cornish, Alyssa Keene would uh, lead us and we would learn each sound. We would, our homework would be we would draw it into like a little character or a cartoon or something like that. You could, you could draw it and then a little field with it or something like that. But they all had to be different so that you have some sort of memory, uh, visual memory of like really spending time with that, that image. And then below the picture you would write two sentences that used the, um, that sound somewhere and then you would write it out on IPA yeah those are the A's I hope that's helpful I'll uh, I'll work through the vowels and then I'll I'll get to consonants I think consonants are um, consonants are pretty easy they usually look like what they look like but vowels have all kinds of different things that can be done so